Everyone is using web browsers all day, every day. The one that I use the most often is Safari. It's also my favorite for day-to-day -day browsing. And it is made 10 times more efficient and more enjoyable with a few shortcuts that very few people know. Now I've put them all together for you all in one place so that you too can be 10 times more efficient and better with your web browsing. One thing we do all the time these days is fill out a form on a website. There are some really cool shortcuts you can do to get through those more quickly. If you click in the first box and you just type your name and then hit tab on the keyboard, it will go to the next field. And if you hit shift tab, so hold shift and press tab, it will go backwards. Uh, and so you can fill out your last name. And then if you get one of these drop down menus, you can just press spacebar on the keyboard to expand the menu. And then you can type the first few letters of the country you want to choose, or you can do arrow keys up and down, and then press return on the keyboard to select that. Let's say you're done with this website and you want to check the news. Uh, normally you would click up here and start typing, but there's a shortcut for that. If you hold command on the keyboard and then press L for a location, it takes you straight up to this box here and you can immediately start typing. Uh, it will also give you some suggestions based on things that you've seen before or looked at before. So if I look at last week tonight, then in my history, it's got this YouTube channel and I can just click that to take me straight there. Now let's say you're doing some research on Google and you want to have multiple websites open at once. Uh, if you click on Google or you type Google and hit return, then you say how to change a light bulb and then press return. Uh, I want to have all three of these articles open at once. So I'm going to hold the command key on the keyboard and click on each one. And you'll notice that they open in tabs. So basically I have the Google search in this first tab here and then the other three articles that I just clicked on in the second, third and fourth tab. So it's a really quick way to access a lot of information very quickly. Now on the topic of tabs, if you want to open a new empty tab, the keyboard command is command T for tab. And then you can type an address up in the address bar here. Uh, you can have multiple tabs open. And if you want to move leftwards and look at some of these previous tabs using the keyboard, you hold command and shift, and then it's the square brackets. So you go left square bracket if you want to move left, and right square bracket if you want to move right. Something I use probably a hundred times a day is the favorites bar, and it's not actually turned on on a new Mac when you get it. To turn it on, you just go to the view menu and show favorites bar. And this, these are all bookmarks for things that you would access multiple times a day, there's not a lot of room for bookmarks on here, maybe 15 or so. And so I would always want it to be only the stuff that I actually use and care about. Uh, if you want to get rid of something off this bar, you just click and drag, drag it downwards and then let go and it goes poof. If you want to add something new to the bar, you just type in the website that you want to go to, hit return. And then once it loads, then you can actually drag this website downwards onto the bar and you can move it left or you can move it right and you can put it where you want. So when you drag it there, you can give it a name. Um, sometimes it has a long name and you can shorten it. So this one is fine as is. Maybe my bank, td.com, hit return. So now I can drag this also down onto the bar. It's got a big long name, so I'm just gonna change it to td and press return. So now these first couple bookmarks are things that I access all the time. Now once you have the bookmarks on your favorites bar and it's all the stuff that you use and care about, this tip is a game changer. Just go into Safari and go into Preferences and under Tabs, you want to uncheck Use Command 1 through 9 to switch tabs. So when you uncheck that, Command 1 on the keyboard will give you the first bookmark. Command 2 gives you the second one. Command 3, you get the idea. So if I press Command 1 on the keyboard, I go to YouTube. 
I press Command 2 on the keyboard, I go to my bank. I press Command 3, I go to Apple's website. And you can combine this with tabs. So I would do Command T for a new tab, and then 1. So I kept holding Command there. Command T for a new tab, keep holding Command and press 2. Command T for a new tab, and 3. So you can really quickly get access to the stuff that you use all the time. Now let's say you are a tab addict, like me, and you've suddenly found yourself with 30 or 40 or 100 tabs open all at once. Uh, you can close them one by one by clicking the little tiny X here. That's awful. That will ruin your life. Uh, Command W will close individual tabs. Super cool tip is if you hold the Option key and click on the X, it will close all tabs except for this one. So you can choose the one that you care about and hold Option and click on that and only this one is left and all of the other tabs are closed. Now let's say you're in the middle of some important research on how to change a light bulb and you need to restart your Mac or you need to quit Safari and you don't want to lose the progress that you have here. You can actually save all of these as a bookmark folder. If you go to the bookmarks menu, you can go add bookmarks for these seven tabs and I would probably call this light bulb. And you can choose where it's going to go. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the main bookmarks folder here so it actually goes into the list of bookmarks in this menu. And I'll say add. So now if I close, you know, quit, Safari, go back into it, and then I go to the bookmarks menu, that light bulb folder is here, and all of those websites that I was just looking at are all right here. You can also click open in new tabs and it will just restore all of those tabs. Now let's take that one step further. Let's say that you want that folder of bookmarks, that folder of tabs, to be a shortcut on your favorites bar. So if I go to bookmarks and I say edit bookmarks, you can actually drag this folder up to the favorites section here. And then within favorites, I want to move it up to be before YouTube. So now that folder shows up here on my favorites bar. And you can imagine maybe this is something, this would be a folder full of things that you do access several times a day. So this could be banking, news, maybe Gmail, whatever you go into all the time. And then now if I close out of Safari and quit, whatever, when I go back into Safari and I click this button here, it's gonna give me all of those tabs back immediately in one click. And if you don't want them all to open all at once like this, just right click or two finger click on the bookmark here and uncheck automatically replace tabs. Then it turns into a little folder where you can click on this and choose something from the menu here. But I personally like how it just opens everything at once. Probably the biggest time saver of all is having Safari remember your passwords. And so when you type your password and you go to sign in, the Mac will ask you if you would like to save this password. I say yes, it's, it is safe to save the password. Uh, as long as your Mac password, the main password that you use when you restart your computer or when the screensaver comes on and you get back into the Mac, as long as that password is secure, then it's okay to save your website passwords in the Mac. So I would say yes to save password. The reason it matters uh, about your Mac password is if you want to see your saved passwords, you go to the Safari menu up here and then go to Preferences. And then you just go to the Password section here. Uh, if I type my Mac password here, this will give me access to all of the passwords that are saved in Safari. And all I have to do to see the password is click it. Once I've clicked on this line here, it shows me the password. That's why it matters that your Mac password is secure. Uh, if you want to remove an old one, you can just click remove to delete it. If you want to make your Mac password more secure, just go to the Apple menu and then system preferences. Go to users and groups. And then just click change password here. And it'll ask you to type your old password and then type a new one. There's nothing I hate more than extra pop-ups and alerts that slow me down and make me click on them and dismiss them. 
uh, new in the Mac OS, Catalina, when you click to download something, it will ask you, are you sure you want to allow downloads on this website? And you need to click allow. And I just get rid of that completely. So you go to the Safari menu and go to preferences. And then under websites, if you go to the download section here, this little drop down here, when visiting other websites, I just say allow, because it's me who's clicking on something. It's me who's wanting to download something. I allow it. And so now it's going to stop asking on every website when I want to download something. Uh, also, when I'm in here, I go to notifications and I uncheck this, allow websites to ask for permission to send notifications, because this is how you'll start to get bombarded with pop-ups in the top right of your screen from various different websites. So I don't, even, I don't even allow them to ask permission to send me notifications. If you need help with anything I've covered in this video uh, or anything in this list here, Safari syncing your bookmarks and history with iPhone, syncing passwords with your iPhone, removing old passwords, resetting website passwords, cleaning out old bookmarks. If you want to move from Chrome or, Saf or Firefox back to Safari, if you want help with private browsing and deleting or managing your history, if you've got some malware in your browser or whatever else you would need in coming years, uh, just head to macandhome.com and either I will help you or an excellent member of my team will help you wherever you are in the world. Now go forth and enjoy your pro browsing skills. Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you want professional one-on-one -on -one help with the tips in this video or with anything else in your Mac lifestyle, head to macandhome.com to schedule a consult.